everybody welcome to my video today today I'm actually going to uh, attempt to cook what am I gonna cook I'm gonna do a chaffle this is part of a collab my first time doing a recipe video I apologize for any Blair Witch jittery action because I'm still trying to figure out how to do this but anyway everyone loves the sweet chaffles I personally love the savory chaffles so I found this recipe online and it uses kimchi and I was so happy. So all you'll need is, this recipe uses two eggs so you can make four chaffles. So two eggs, one ounce of kimchi, one tablespoon of the juice that comes in the kimchi, there's always lots of juice in there, and a little bit of cheese to put on the bottom and top of the chaffle while it's cooking. That's it! Pretty simple, huh? So, let me put you down and I'll get to it, hopefully without looking too weird. No, no, no. No, no. Ah. 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 Hey, there we go. Okay, so, we are going to, move that out of the way, I guess, crack the two eggs, obviously, because, you know. Well, you could be like me and always leave the shell in. I always manage to get shell, no matter what I do. Two eggs. Eating up nicely. If you want to get fancy, you need some garlic powder, which I always do. I even, secret ingredient, bacon. Can you see the bacon salt? Bacon salt, bacon salt, bacon salt. We love bacon salt. We put it in everything. Mix, 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 mix. And then we add the kimchi. This is so easy how I never thought of this before seeing it in a video. I will never know. Never know. Literally, this is it. Eggs, seasoning, kimchi, cheese. That's all. So now, I'm going to pick you back up. Again, I apologize for any Blair Witch action. And if you don't know what Blair Witch is, you're too young to be watching this video. Okay. Cheese. This gives it a little crispy, crispy, crispy. I didn't think this through my famous last words. So... Let us... I'm going to put you down again. Come on, little tripod. Let's do this. Okay. Because you can put the egg in, but you want to be sure you get some kimchi in here. It's about a tablespoon-ish of egg if you have to measure. I just sort of fill it up, and what you probably can't see on the video is that I have a paper towel under my dash because I'm infamous for overfilling. So, with the lights on, and we wait. We wait a little bit, and then we're going to put a little cheese on top to give it that crispy top. Wow, it's been three minutes already. How do you guys do this all the time? I don't understand. You know how long I spent cleaning my kitchen up just to have the space available for this? You have no idea. And all these guys are wondering what the heck I'm doing, because I'm talking to myself. Is she adorable? She's not wiggling because, well, there's no sun in here, but still. I feel like I need some music. Da 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 da. How many of you burnt yourself or almost burned yourself on the steam coming off your little mini waffle maker? Say hi. Definitely me. Okay, I'm gonna put you down because I think it's about time. Put some cheese on top of that. Yep, time for cheese. Now, of course, don't come for me. I'm using pre-shredded because I am a lazy witch. However, I have been known to shred cheese. Just not since everyone got on this chaffle craze because I'll never be done shredding cheese. Okay. Now we go back to it. Do we love these signs or what? Come in for a spell. Behind it is the air fryer because we all live for an air fryer. Also, one of my favorite coffee mugs. Another one of my favorite coffee mugs. 
Do not jump on the counter, monkey. No. Thank you. They want the cheese. They want to know what mommy's talking to. How do I explain the internet to cats? I don't think I have to. I think they know the internet's for cats. Do, 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 do. I am impatient. It's not ready yet. It's still sticking. I pulled them off when they stick. It's better when they get crunchy. Much better. Oh, this was my last month's Sips Vibe box that I've opened up, looked at, admired, and not drank a single tea out of, and I'm pretty sure my next box is on the way. For those of you who don't know, I am a desert keto witch, and it's still, well, I think today it got back up over 100. My Sammy cat doesn't know why I'm talking. So, uh, I can barely get through hot coffee. The idea of hot tea right now is not too appealing. Yeah, I can make it cold. I don't know. I'm not big on that. I mean, I am. Just regular tea. I'm not so sure about the flavors, even though I, I have. My air conditioning kicked on. Don't know if you can hear it, the spaceship taking off in the background, but hey. Let's take a look. I think we're about ready. Now, I've seen 11 billion ways to pull chaffle off. None of them work well for me. So, we're going to go back down. Oops, sorry. Back down. This is what I do. Sort of lift it up by one end, grab it. Everyone said, everyone's been talking about how they get uh, drying racks for this, for, for chocolates when they come out. I haven't got that far yet, but it's definitely something I'm starting to think about because, well, the bandwagon. Like the same bandwagon where a bunch of us are like, we can't call these chocolates, that seems too weird. And now uh, everyone's calling them chocolates because chocolates. I think I've had chocolates practically every day this week. Like this? It's gonna be lunch. Oh, I screwed up and put the cheese on top before it got cooked. That's okay. It'll still do the job. And that, boys and girls, is a kimchi chaffle. Simple. Delicious. You can eat it like this. You can put more kimchi on top. You can fry an egg. Slap that on there. Although egg on egg on egg. I, I do it. Um, the original video I saw it in, she put some pork belly on there. Who's got money for that? Uh, I've got bacon. I've got ham. I've got lunch meat. So I might just make this a lunch meat sandwich. And if I do, I'll insert a picture at the end. But I'm coming up on seven and a half minutes of talking to a camera. Wow. This is my first cooking video. Um, so... Thanks to Keto Mama and Nassine for uh, having this open uh, chaffle collab thing going on. It's my first time. I don't know if I did it right. Is there a right? Is there a wrong? I don't know. But uh, until next time, blessed be.